In this video, we will cover cloning labels and templates, as well as importing and exporting templates. Online in the Jolt web portal, under Content and Labels, you'll see all labels that you have created in your account listed here on the Labels tab. Now let's say that you want a quick and easy way to add a new label to your account using another label that you've already created as a starting point. If you click on any label to edit, then you'll notice on the top right there is an option to clone the label. This will make a copy of this label so that you can now edit without losing or overriding the original label. So if I go ahead and clone this label, notice how I have exactly the same label except the word clone has been added to the label name here. This is a completely new label that I can now edit and change without worrying about changing anything on the original. If I save the changes and come back to the index page, you'll see that I now have both labels, the clone that I renamed and the original one. If we come to the templates tab and open up a save template, you'll notice that I have the same option to clone, which will make a new copy of the template and put clone in the name, just like it did for labels. Now let's say you have a label template that you want to share with another Jolt label user. Jolt makes it easy for you to export your templates by selecting a template and then coming to Advanced, where you can export the template. If you click Export here, it will download the template, and you can then attach that to an email to share with another user. Here in my email, I have a template that was taken from another account, and I can download it and then come back to Jolt to import it. You will want to either create a new blank template to avoid overwriting any current templates that you have, or you can simply clone a template and then import, which will overwrite your clone. So I'll go ahead and clone this template, and then I can come to the bottom to Advanced and select Import. Once I select the file, you'll notice it loads a summary of the template on the right, and then I can confirm Import. And now I'll have that template loaded into my account, and I can make any changes if necessary, save it, and begin creating labels using this template. And that covers it for cloning, importing, and exporting label templates in Jolt.